Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of fundamentals of IoT in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to interface IR sensor and a buzzer uh, using a Raspberry Pi. Okay. So for that, first we need to write the Python programming. Okay. So for that, go to the Raspberry Pi start in the programming file Python IDLE. Click on that. So you can see a window of Python IDLE. I have already written the program. Let me open that program. So go to file and click on open. Okay. So this is my IR code. Let me open that. Let me copy this program. Control C. I will close this program. And now I will create a new file. Go to file and click on new file. Okay, this is the new file we get and copy paste it. Okay, so this is the program of IR sensor which have uh, copied and pasted it. Okay, so if we see the program, we are importing GPIO uh, libraries. Okay, so for that we need to write import RPA Raspberry Pi dot GPIO as GPIO. Okay. As we are considering the pins numbers present on the board, we are need to consider this GPIO dot set mode GPIO dot board. Okay. Now what we need to do, we need to take whatever the data we are getting from the IR sensor that should be given to the input of an Raspberry Pi. So here what I'm doing is GPIO dot setup third pin. I'm considering third pin as the input pin of the Raspberry Pi. So I will be mentioning it as GPIO dot in. Okay. So the output of the IR sensor should be connected to the third pin of the Raspberry Pi with respect to board numbers. Okay. Now, uh, in order to connect the output of the Raspberry Pi to the buzzer positive terminal, we need to consider another pin, right? So it's GPIO dot setup fifth pin, fifth pin of Raspberry Pi we are considering it as GPIO dot out. Okay. So sensor pin, sensor output pin will be given to third pin of the Raspberry Pi as an input and the Raspberry Pi fifth pin is considered as the output pin that will be connected to the positive terminal of the buzzer. Okay. Now what should happen? So initially while true, we need to calculate the value of GPIO. Okay. That means input pin. Okay. So the sensor we are connected to, to the third pin, right? So value is equal to GPIO dot input of three. We need to keep on reading the pin number three as it is connected to the IR sensor. Okay. We are also printing the value of uh, that particular IR sensor, which is connected to the pin number three. Once you run the code, you can clearly observe the status, whether it is logic high or logic low. In the screen itself, I will be showing. Okay. If the value is equal to one, GPIO dot output, which is nothing but fifth pin, should be GPIO dot low. Okay. So initially, IR sensor value is high. Okay. So that's why we are making that particular GPIO pin as low. Okay. So whenever some obstacle occurs and the IR sensor uh, senses any obstacle, that IR sensor value goes to low. That means else GPIO dot output fifth pin should be always high. If at all IR sensor value goes from one to zero, okay, the fifth pin which is connected to the buzzer terminal need to go high such that the buzzer will be on or the buzzer buzzes or rings. Okay. So this is the logic we are, uh, we have written with respect to IR sensor. Okay. Now what we need to do, we need to go to file and save the project. Okay, click on save. So I will be giving a name like IR1 and click on save. Okay, once you save the program, in order to uh, dump the code into the Raspberry Pi, you need to go to run and click on run module. See, initially the IR sensor value is logic high, that means one. That's why it is showing as one. Okay, now let's make the connections of IR sensor and buzzer interfacing with the Raspberry Pi and let's check the output then. So this is the IR sensor we are considering. Okay. So this IR sensor will be having three pins. Okay. 
so from the right side we have first one uh, vcc and the middle one a ground pin and the last one is the output pin okay so vcc should go to the power supply of the raspberry pi so here we are considering second and fourth pin are the vcc pins that means plus 5 volts pins okay so so positive terminal goes to second pin that is 1 and 2 the second pin is the 5 volts so i will be connecting the vcc of ir sensor to the 5 volts okay and we have pins like 6th and 14th pin are ground pins so the ground of the ir sensor goes to the 6th pin of the uh, raspberry pi okay and the output pin of the ir sensor goes to the uh, this particular third pin of the raspberry pi okay so let me connect that so ir sensor goes into the breadboard okay and this is the buzzer we are considering okay so buzzer will be having two terminals one is positive terminal and another one is negative terminal okay the long one is the positive terminal and the short one is the negative terminal okay so the positive terminal of the buzzer goes to the fifth pin of the raspberry pi and the negative terminal of the buzzer goes to the another ground pin let us take 14th pin is another ground pin of the raspberry pi so let's connect the negative terminal of the buzzer to the 14th pin of the raspberry pi okay so vcc of ir sensor goes to the plus 5 volts that is second pin of the raspberry pi ground of ir sensor goes to the sixth pin one two three four five sixth sixth pin of raspberry pi you can see the power supply is powered on for the ir sensor and the output pin of the ir sensor it will be connected to okay third pin of raspberry pi one two three okay third pin of raspberry pi so ir sensor and the raspberry pi connections has been finished okay now from the fifth pin of the raspberry pi we should connect the positive terminal of the buzzer so positive terminal of the buzzer goes to okay fifth pin of the raspberry pi one two three four five fifth pin of the raspberry pi and the negative terminal of the buzzer goes to negative terminal of the buzzer goes to 14th pin that is also one ground pin so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so this is the 14th pin okay so the connections has been completed you can see the buzzer is start working now once the connections are given okay let us check the output so whenever i bring my hand in front of the ir sensor it detects the obstacle okay see whenever the ir sensor is detecting the obstacle you can clearly see the buzzer is on otherwise the buzzer will be off okay so i will be showing you one more thing so whenever there is no obstacle in front of the ir sensor you can clearly see on the monitor okay there is logic one or high okay so whenever i put my hand in front of the ir sensor okay you can see the logic one goes to logic zero okay so suppose if i remove my hand again it goes to logic high that is logic one okay so you can clearly see the IR sensor is working perfectly when we have interfaced with the Raspberry Pi.